What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here. Welcome to you back to some more Danganronpa 2, Goodbye to Spare. And in the last episode, we figured out that Mihiru was dead. And I'm not happy about it, because she's a character that I actually enjoyed and had a lot of fun with. So to see a good character, bop, hit the dust is just never a good thing. Um, I mean, any character dying isn't a good thing. Um, even Teru Teru and all the other ones, like, we love and stand most of these characters. Now, they're the first game. It was a little bit different, but I like, this cast is really good. So, anyway, moving on forward, let's go ahead and do some discovery. Let's first check on the body and see the status of the body. She lost all life in her body. It is as if she is a shell. Is this really the energetic Mihiru I knew? I see her laying out in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mihiru. But we don't have to, time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands on my cheeks and faced Mihiru's body one more time. Mihiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she learned, leaned under the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mihiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They are streaked, as if she crawled through them. So, she used all her energy to try and claw or crawl away and leaned against the door and then took her final breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, uh, she must have felt really desperate. Monokuma File 2 has been updated, probably with the, the crawl evidence. According to the Monokuma File, the fatal, fatal blow <clears throat> was dealt to Mihiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is a small metal bat. Or it's a, this metal bat. Huh? This metal bat. It is the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There is a girl named Girl E who was killed during the fourth day. Um. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mihiru. Hey, hey. Did, did, you, did you happen to play that game, Hayame? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? And I'm sure you know this, but the the case this time is strongly connected to the Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mihiru's death, you probably need to solve the game's mystery, too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it would be lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and then it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game. I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. Hmm. I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games that she's never beaten, huh? So I'm supposed to do ex actually. I'm supposed to actually beat the game. I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Metal bat has been added to the truth bullet section. What's this? The mask. Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring that from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe the party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, such a gaudy mask like that. A, a gaudy mask? Ah, that mask? You've seen this. Sun Witch! Esperito! It's a super fun anime with viewership surpassing 90% in my country! An anime that has viewership of over 90% is Sonia's country really alright? Could, could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Y yeah, it was. If that's true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please forgive me this time. For reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out to the beach house. What's with her? It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonya to be worked up at something big, I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl mask has been added to the truth bullet section. 
Th this is too weird. Something this, something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Okay, we're just... I figured talking to the people that came with me is probably not the greatest. That's weird. What do you mean? Well, I wanted to call myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. But when I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinking, right? Hmm. What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I resolved it on my own. Just so, so drop it. What the heck? You started it. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some sort of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They were right in front of the entrance, facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Wow. Jaime and Kazuichi's footprints show that y you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mentioned that, I thought those footprints were strange, too. You did. Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door, facing the road. But it didn't... But... It didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach house door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahira's body was blocking it. Mm. And then, when I noticed the those footprints, the footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel, they look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Now that you mention it, Pekko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming uh, to scout the first beach. I do not know anything of the about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? Still. But those footprints are lead straight to the beach house from the t uh, to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then those fo whose footprints are these? <clears throat> it's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, probably an extremely important clue. Lou. the door there's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator but compared to last time I feel like there's a lot less drinks did people take a lot of drinks in here not only that the only drinks left in here either look sweetened or colored they look unhealthy The closet door is half open. Last time I came here, it wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. It's a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and the floor and only per one person could stand here. But if you think about it this way, it means that it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets, and there was also some paint suppliers too. Hmm, there's not much that could be related to that incident here. Hmm, there's something on the floor. The yellow thing, it's a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? There's a lot of stuff jammed into the cell, blah, 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 same thing. Jeez, how careless. Um, I guess that's everything inside the closet. Mm. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like there's it's being repaired or under construction or something like that. <laughs> That's right. The shower is being repaired, so water will not come out. But what about the... But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible, too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? Sorry. Just, Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me, so I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing it? Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is Monokuma's fault. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think that my Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. Think of me what you want. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help you with that. 
What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well. Anyway, let's... It looks like the shower room is definitely out of order, but I guess I should check inside, too. Okay, click on the door. The door. Okay, yeah, I can't. I mean, he was leaning against the door, so I couldn't open it. Okay, that's all. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Trash can has been added to the truth bullets. Have I talked to Pekka? I will never forgive killing. Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about the killing. That, that's not what Chiaki... There's no way anyone would forgive someone like this. I, I guess you're right. Why are we already trying to pay on other people? Chiaki, can you tell me about the Twilight Syndrome one more time? Yeah, sure thing. Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series that was first released in 1996. It is about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify a numerous uber-urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. In that series, three games were released until the year 2000. But in 2008, it was a completely new game was released. As a fan, I was really happy. It even kept the same ambiance and gameplay as before. Other than that, a live-action movie was also made based on the game's original story. It's not really a forgotten series like Madoguba claimed, I think. Mm. Uh, I guess that's about it. It would be great if they came out with another sequel. Oh, we can go in the shower room now. Wait. This is a really nice and really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it like a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Hi, Akane. Damn it. Hmm, guess no one's here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl it out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it, but... I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. So it's probably about nine feet in the air. Not just that, it's an iron barred window. And if that's the case, yep, it's impossible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking about the killer might have escaped through there. Ah, oh, right. I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check out that window for you. Pitch in and help. It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. You if you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She really is into this. No matter what I say, it's not going to matter. Fine, I'll leave it to you. Don't worry, my panties are clean. <laughs> I see him. That's, that's good. I'll take a deep sigh. And I took a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. All right. All right. She shouted. Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. is wider y you you're a lot heavier than i expected yeah because i'm so buff like every time i get a massage they tell me i'm just a mass of muscle a massage huh do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast nah i don't have a trainer my stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages i, I shouldn't have asked How's the window let's see That's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. So check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With the con on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high I started, I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Akane jumped off my shoulders, flashed a wide grin. <laughs> it, isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm. 
even if, if I jump, I really can't reach it. But two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? So if that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that a name of a kung fu master? But even if it was an accomplice, the person acting like a step stool would be still inside. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of that wind or just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So, yeah, like a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Hmm, just as I thought. It was, looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Oh, what, what the heck? And even I took the time to lend you my wisdom? You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took a look. The time to pinch in and help? You. It's a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, well. It's not like it's the end of the world or anything. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Iron barred window has been added to the truth bullet section. I guess that's pretty much everything I can notice in the shower room. I guess I'm finished investigating all that I can, but still, not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough information to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mihiro got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in the game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mihiru. That, there is no way, is a, just a coincidence, right? Actually. In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a reoccurring theme of mysteries, right? Kind of a, like a hidden connection. A missing link. If the, that's the killer's motive for the killing for this time. Then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, a person who might know about this mystery is standing right next to me. Chiaki. I should ask her about it. Metal Bat has been updated. Hey Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Are you done investigating here already? Hmm. I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Good go. Uh, you want to know about the Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you and I should, or you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Java Walk Park, where an unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never. Never expected that the person to be waiting there. Hello there. Why are you uncaged, Nagito? Who let you out? Oh God. Why, hello there. Hi, man, Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagido. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? What, why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys were able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's not, that's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiru, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome the despair this time? Looks like you feel no more remorse. 
Jeez, as usual, he's acting crazy. He's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about the hero? Now, now. You, you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monomi. It's Monomi. Yes, it was me. You, you, you. Why did you unite Nagito without anyone's permission? Um, did, did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you, you know, cooperate. There's no way that we'll get along. You already knew what kind of a dude he was. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hayabe, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point, you know. You have no right to say that. But... Now is not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mihiro, right? That's right! That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have a Monokuma. Enough! Enough already! Just go away! <laughs> Understood! Nagito, you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I am a little lonely, but... I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending. Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I too will do, so, will do some investigating for a while. I will try and be useful in my own way. Hmm. Why do you want to be useful to? Or who do you want to be useful to? The killer? Or us. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. No, you won't. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. Even if he didn't exist, the situation would be a... Or if he didn't exist, the situation would just be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hi, May. Let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Even if I do play this, I might just get the game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Hmm? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get that game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? Mm -hmm. You should have seen it too. You know that thing that was, was displayed on the came over screen? Is that? Are you talking about the message that says down five? Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're at the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to get to the real game. So you, that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with me being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. I wonder if we could have done that earlier. I need to press down five times the title screen. Let's do this. I Then open the new door to the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Press down five times with your own hands. Down five, huh? The screen changed. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. The Twilight Syndrome Murder Case Truth Edition. I should start it up. I think I need to find out why this is the motive. I'll start if I press the start. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Now then, let's begin the Twilight Syndrome Murder Case and press start. Now loading. 
we open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled out the incident was a work of the pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there is a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. And several days after the incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. What happened? What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden within the truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now, let's start with the first day where it all begun. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're going to be home late because we had to wait for a slowpoke girl A. Come on, girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I, I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Ah! The way girl, girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking for to collect would sick get sick to their stomachs. Huh? Is girl he, he here yet? Apparently she forgot or something. She told us to wait a little longer. She can't even find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. <gasps> stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the recent area recently. Hehehe. <laughs> You should be super careful, girl A. A chubby girl weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A got, is getting really scared. Yeah, it's fun to bully girl A. Yeah. What was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Girl E, what happened? I, I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now, and then suddenly I heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked and I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we get the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the keys to the music room. The teachers are probably going to be gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, too, so it's super easy to get. Then let's open the door right away. Creak. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Someone's laying on the floor. This, she's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? Yeah. Lower your voice. They might still be here nearby. N nearby. I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up. What's going to happen if the killer notices us? Well, what should we do? What should I do? I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route. Could it be? Ah, that window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? 
But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they break it? They were probably trying to leave it. Hurry! Look! There's evidence! The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Broken fish tank has been added to the truth bullet section. It's too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock a door, you'd either have to lock it from the inside of the music room or use the lounge key. It, oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked up from the inside, which means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But they didn't see anyone, but we didn't see anyone else pass by, which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Killer's escape route has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's pretty, it's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds, huh? My school swimsuit has been st was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole Girl E's school swimsuit also murdered the girl over there. They probably locked the music room so that they could <laughs> R her, but she ended up resting or resisting. So they frantically tried to get her away or get away, but broke the window and escaped. Stolen school swimsuit. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might be able to be, still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. Oh! No! And we don't get a transcript. Oh, my God. I wasn't even mashing a button. I hit B to run out the door. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it'd be best if we left the room. How he found it. I just, just locked the door. Leave everything how it was. I can't believe that. I went to go run out the door. Ah, uh, hey, please. Don't leave me. Ah, she said, girl, the girl literally said, oh, we got to run. Let's get out this door. And I'm like, yes, I agree. Let's run out this door. Didn't think that the game. Mm. And that's probably a massive line of text that I missed. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to be here. Don't tell me you were going to confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. The day of the incident, I found this when I peeked the next door of the classroom when I was as I was going home, and I couldn't help but take a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? The sound we heard at the entrance hall wasn't the sound of the window breaking. What? Well, what is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from out the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girl E? Uh, are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you didn't say anything either. I knew, I knew you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She seriously was making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in the middle school, right? She probably was jealous of your talents, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If I told you, none of this would have happened. Girl E, don't tell me you. That bitch thought she could do anything that she wanted because of her family's influence. And I couldn't just stand it anymore. I know at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking about shit that she'd target me or 
about how she'd target me next time, so I felt a sudden rage. Before I knew it, I was choking her, and then she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she had woke up, so that's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault or yours. It's all her fault. Ah, uh, girl E. Guy F. That bitch girl. That bitch girl E, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What? What was it? What the hell is this photo? This face is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass was actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try and secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did it that, I will never. I will never forgive her. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident on the incident's first day and third day de are depicted in it. Yep. yep. Now that you fill file are filled in all four events from first day to fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense, but they and have no romantic chemistry with each other. No, no, not that. While you were talking, uh, while you're talking, while you were talking. Looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll. Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at that, probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll. Producer Monokuma. Director Monokuma. Supervisor Monokuma. Yes, of course. C plan scenario Monokuma. Programmer Monokuma. Graphics Monokuma. Cast. Sumiki Kozunami Hiyoko. Miyota, Sato, Kazuryu, Kazuryu. Wait, wait, just now. See, didn't I tell you? That's what you know, what you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay, congrats, miracle, congratulations. You're finally reading the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Now that you guys have played the game through, to the end, you should already know. That's right. The game is a non-fiction game based on the actual past incident. Is that true? By the way, way non-fiction means the, an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. But, even if this notification, you guys probably don't remember. Even if this notification, but <laughs> even if this notification is a notification or non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting of this story. Our school life. At uh, any rate, congratulations. Now then, um, as an ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize. There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I'd probably play the game sooner. Ending prize has been added to the truth bullet section. But the ending prize isn't the problem, is what Monica was said earlier. He mentioned how our school life is the setting of the game. Just as I thought, it was connected to that... Or, t t connected to this time, too. But, is it really... Is it really true? We were already living in our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Something crazy actually possible? Then why didn't you tell us? It looks like there's something on your mind, huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten the game. That's, this game is nonfiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe the memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, oh my gosh. But instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving the mystery first. Whether that, whether we believe its motive or not, it is clear the murder did occur. If that's the case, I need to my question or need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I get information from them, 
I might find out about something. About the mystery of Mihiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be the char be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Uh, also, I want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game. Talk to me anytime. I see you. Thanks. Thanks for the huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. All right, let's go. Hello there. Why, hello there, Jaime. And Chiaki, we meet again. The timing is too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? You caught me? Ah, oh, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be the best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, then you must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little bit too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys? It's okay, just make your point. Well... But there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why? The characters who appeared in the Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them. No. I know. If you want to hear what they have to say, you guys should come with me. I'll go ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Mm. Hmm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. And that is what we will do in the next episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We're going to have to deal with Nagito. But um, we're going to go ahead and talk to the girls. And um, it said Soto, so, or Soda or something like that. So I feel like we're going to talk to Kazumichi as well, which is very interesting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!